What is up my dogs? Today we're playing Fake 2.6 Hog Cycle with Mirror level 16 Mega Knight and I want to tell you guys about what just transpired with my neighbor because there's some drama that went down. So as you know I've told you about my neighbor right? He's a 40 year old divorced man. He likes smoking his cigarettes. He likes complaining. He has a beer pretty much every night and he's unhappy with his divorced wife okay? And there's a lot, of, there's a lot more to it but that's basically the synopsis you need to know for now. So the other day he came into my apartment. Now this is the same guy who was telling me about how like people are throwing cigarette butts from the balconies on top down onto his terrace and onto my balcony and they just don't clean it up and it's really annoying and then he was telling me about how there's these little styrofoam bowls he's been seeing everywhere and he's really unhappy with whoever's been throwing them and putting them around right and that was me from when I had my Snorlax bean bag and I fucking I let some of them fly out onto the on, off my balcony and they like flew back onto all of our balconies and so anyway I was telling you guys about how like I do not want him to come into my apartment because then he's gonna see my Snorlax so he knocked on my door one Sunday morning saying he needs to climb from my balcony to his so that he can enter the, through the back door that he left open because he left his keys behind at some event, right? And so I was like, okay, sure. And it was early in the morning and I wasn't really thinking about my, my Snorlax beanbag or anything. And he walked through, he walked past it, he got a good look at it. He didn't say anything, right? So I was like, okay, all good. And I just let him, I let him climb into his, into his apartment, okay? So he saw the Snorlax beanbag. I don't know if he put two and two together, but anyway, today... This is where things got fucking interesting. So today I was just chilling outside of my balcony and he starts talk. He, he calls my name. He's like, Hey, you want to talk or whatever? So I start talking to him. He's smoking a cigarette. He's having a beer, of course. And I'm doing some stretches because I have a fucked up shoulder at the moment. And he's telling me about how his friend like parked in the disabled parking spot or something for a, like a second. And then apparently he was like helping his friend move or helping his friend. I don't even know. I don't even know exactly what he said. But anyway, apparently someone in the building took a picture of him like snitching that, that he parked in the disabled parking spot when they shouldn't have. And the, apparently the person that took the picture was the actual building manager, someone who you know, you're meant to go to if you have any problems with something in the building. You talk to this person, you get it sorted. You're meant to have like a good relationship. So apparently this person, the building manager, snitched on his friend and him in this photo and sent it into this Facebook group chat with all the all the people in the building in it, except me. There's this weird Facebook group chat where it's like you can either join the dark side or the good side. It's really weird. There's two group chats, by the way, and one of them is like people bitching about everyone in the building. And then there's another one where it's people bitching about everyone in the building, except some people aren't in it. I'm not in either. And so apparently this photo was sent in by the building manager and he was really upset about this. And so he left like a comment Oh, so he so he confronted her about it and he was like, why didn't you just come to me with about the issue? Like, why why did you need to send it in? And she was like, oh, I, did, I didn't take the picture. And then he's like, I saw you taking the picture. <laughs> and then apparently she was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. You, you shouldn't be parking there or whatever. And apparently she's quite spineless. So she kind of folded. I met her. She's pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. And so apparently she folded and she was just like, okay, yeah, well, next time I'll come to you, blah, blah, blah. And apparently ever since then, she's been like trying to make it up to him trying to like, you know, suck up a little bit because of, uh, because of that disagreement and she doesn't want to deal with him. And so he was telling me about this and he was complaining, complaining, complaining. And then I realized that I had some drama that I hadn't addressed yet. So the other day I ordered some, I ordered some like HelloFresh, which is basically like they give you the ingredients like potatoes, carrots, and whatever you need, like chicken, and then you make a meal using their recipe. And so I ordered this for the first time because I wanted to try it. But apparently I didn't collect it when it arrived in the lobby for like a day later. And so it left like a pool of water underneath it. And so when I went to collect it, it like dripped a little bit in the lobby and like it might've dripped a couple times in the lift. And so I told him about that. I should have mirrored to get level 16 Mega Knight there. And so I told him about this and he was saying like, yeah, because he's he must be in one of the group chats. He was saying, yeah, it was sent into the group chat and everyone was apparently really unhappy with this and they're all bitching about it. And I was like, oh no, is everyone going to hate me? And apparently they didn't know it was me. Did he really just give up by the way? So apparently everyone was talking about me in this group chat, leaving these droplets everywhere around the building. They didn't know it was me. They just knew someone had done it. And my neighbor was saying that they, what the people in the building thought is someone had like a beer. Actually, I'm going to mirror musketeer here. Level 16 musketeer goes crazy. Apparently someone thought everyone in the building thought it was like beer that was just dripping. Like they had a carton of beer and they just left it dripping in the building. 
And so they didn't know it was me. And I'm really fucking relieved about that because if everyone in the building knew it was me, everyone would hate me. And in this building, I do not want to have to deal with that. Then he started talking to me about like this new flatmate he's got. And apparently it's this woman. And he was like, oh, I made sure to find someone I'm not going to be attracted to because I can't control myself. And I was like, oh, that's that's good news, man. And then he was like, yeah, because uh, I've had some chances over the last few months, but I'm still not getting over the woman I used to be with. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. At least you have some chances, man. I'm out here. I'm just sitting in my apartment. I'm just playing Clash. Now he doesn't know that. And so he told me about that and I, I said that and he was like, you got to get out more, man. I, I was kind of joking. I was just taking the piss. But then, you know, things got real. He was like, yeah, you got to get out, man. Like, you got to come out with me tonight. We got to get on the beers. We got to go to the pub. And I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I got some work to do. And then he was like, you're, you're making excuses now. You can't, you can't be doing that. And I was like, okay, okay, fine, man, fine. So now the plan is I'm recording this right now so that you guys have an upload today telling you about this situation. And then after this, I'm going to go out to the pub, <laughs> this random pub, and we're going to, we're going to drink. So I'm going to drink with my 40 year old neighbor. I was, I was telling him, I was like, are you sure it's my like demographic, my age group? And he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like you just gotta, you just gotta get out there. You don't know, you don't know what you like, what you like. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, all right, maybe he's right. Maybe, I, maybe I gotta do this. So now, yeah, I'm going to this like this pub. I, I'm pretty sure like older people go to this pub, but it doesn't matter, man. Apparently I'm going, me and him are going together and we're going to be drinking at this place. And I'm going to be linking up with all the, all the older ladies, man. It's going to be great. So I, I have no idea how this is going to go, but I am, um, I'm very hesitant. I actually do not want to, like it's Friday night. So that's why I'm kind of doing it. I'm not really doing anything. So usually in my life, when I do things and I really don't want to do them, it either just becomes really boring and I really want to go home, but that's the expectation. Sometimes, you know, exciting things happen. Who knows what could happen? So I'm like, screw it. Let's live a little. I'm going to go out and th things might get freaky, man. Things might get crazy. I don't know what he has planned for me, but I'm slightly terrified knowing this guy. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. And I got to get out of my comfort zone at some time, man. So here we are. And that's it. I can't be a Clash gamer my whole life as much as I would love to be. You know me. But yeah, so that's pretty much the extent of things so far. And... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but here we are. I, I do like meeting new people though. Like my whole life, I've always gone up to people because I always, I always find it fine, like fun just talking to new groups of people and hanging out with new groups of people. It's always a new experience. I've always liked it. Shit, please don't die here. Inferno Dragon, no. Okay, I think we're fine. So I'm hoping this is a good one, even though this guy is like literally 25 years older than me. Who knows, man? All right, I'm going to play level eight. Uh, 16 Mega Knight in the other lane because this is clearly not working out and I need something to work in the next 15 seconds or I'm literally going to lose. <laughs> no. Wait, can I cycle fireballs? Hang on. If I mirror fireball, can I do enough damage? Wait. Please. Wait. Log. No. 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 <laughs> it was so close. Oh. But anyway, guys, that's the situation and I'm about to go out now. So. Pray for me, I guess. Subscribe.